Abby's one of 491 athletes about to compete at the NCAA Nationals. Um, if you saw again, Abby's the first female um, from martial history. There's three total. Um, one was 2011, one was 1979. Mm -hmm. um, so the coach first is Coach Caleb Bowen. So any questions for Coach before Abby? Coach, just what does it mean to have an athlete qualify for something uh, of this magnitude? Oh, it means a lot. So I was actually a freshman in college the last time we had a guy go to the national championship. His name is Matthew Schiffbauer. So, you know, that's kind of like the biggest goal of my career is to get somebody to nationals and ultimately a team to nationals. And, you know, it was so special being on the team to send a guy, you know, Shiffy, who was a senior at the time. So, as a coach, this is one of the coolest accomplishments. Well, Coach, but I remember talking to you a couple weeks ago about when Herring finished second in the conference championship. Remember I talked to you about watching her develop from the beginning to now. How was it being able to see her not only be a four-time conference champion, but put her name in the history books by being the first female runner to ever qualify for nationals? Oh, it's awesome. So something cool about Abby is her senior year of high school, she ran a 524 mile. If you do the splits, she ran almost faster for four miles on the grass. <laughs> on last Friday. So she's developed, you know, amazingly. Like she has, you know, put in a lot of hard work, has, uh, you know, run to miles of trials, trials of miles, is what we always say in practice. And, you know, it's really cool to see people see the benefits of doing all the hard work. So as a coach, it's, just, it's awesome. Cross country is you know, one of those sports where you're competing individually, but as a team. How has the team responded um, to some of her individual well, I mean, Abby's just a, she's a leader, and she doesn't do it, like, in a, a sense of, like, hey, you need to follow what I do, but she shows it by example, and just the team has developed, and, like, we, we were really bad a couple of years ago, and whenever we brought in Sydney Smith, Abby Herring, and a few others, like, they have, they became leaders very early in their career, and it's one of those things where I don't really worry about them doing the right things, because I know they're going to do the right things. You know, they're going to wake up early and get their long runs in. They tell me when they're going to shake out early before meets. I, I don't have to tell them to do anything. They just do it on their own. So, yeah, it's just it's really cool to see all that. And she's part of that uh, culture change, you know, going from, like, one of the last teams in the region to 15th. You know, it, I just see it progressing more and more because of what she has done. What are the positive, <clears throat> positive ripples for a performance like that? to her, to the team, to the school, to the community? Yeah, I mean, where we haven't had too many athletes make the national meet, okay. it shows that's possible. You know, Abby's a girl from Parkersburg High School, Parkersburg South High School. You know, she's a local. She's not from, uh, you know, another country or anything like that. She's a West Virginian. So hopefully it shows, like, more and more West Virginians that they can do great things. And hopefully our, our team as well. You know, her, I think Kylie Maston, Hannah Weiler, uh, Asha Bohr. We have several athletes who are kind of in the same boat where they're just progressing and getting better. So hopefully we have more of these. You know, hopefully we have more people who make nationals and, you know, conference championships and everything else. You know, the culture that Christian Spears has brought to our, you know, our team has been awesome. He's holding everybody accountable, which is good, but he's set the standard pretty high and we're, we're doing everything we can to hit it. Does that help you recruiting? It should. <laughs> it definitely helps. It doesn't hurt by any means. You know, actually I got committed early this morning, and the first thing they said was, hey, awesome job about, uh, with Abby. So, yeah, I think so. Thanks, Coach. All right. Obviously, Abby Herring, any questions for Abby? How's it feel? Uh, really cool. Uh, I think a couple of years ago, like I had looked at all these girls who are, you know, making the national meet or even getting all reach. And I was like, oh my gosh, like they are so cool. Like these girls are awesome. They're put so fast. And it's, it, it's cool to be able to like not take their position, but like be up there with those girls who I had idolized a couple of years ago. When did you realize you had a shot at this? Um, so actually I was in Steve Cotton's office and he had made, we did a um, interview together and he was like how does it feel like you know you could be the first women to, uh, woman to ever make the national meet for cross country at Marshall and I was like oh <laughs> wow I was like oh yeah I mean that would be super cool I, I wasn't uh it was definitely wasn't guaranteed that I was gonna make it but I don't know it felt, it felt really cool just being able to like hear people like saying that like oh like you have a shot and me being like actually able to do it <laughs> Done. Did you kind of feel that, that could, this could take you somewhere? 
Yeah, so at the beginning of the race, I um, I knew that I wanted to stay with that lead group, and we went through the first mile, even two mile together, and then there was a little bit of divide, and but there was a, a lead group, and then there was like a smaller pack that I was in, but I think I, I stayed up in the top, I would say, eight or nine throughout the whole race. Um, starting off from the gun, I, I felt good. It was cooler outside the two weeks prior we had ran in Foley, Alabama and it was super hot. So running, like being back and weather that I'm acclimated to was nice. Um, throughout the race, it was good. Like I, like I felt good. And then the last straight stretch is about, I want to say, or like the last, um, half mile is all downhill. And so I kind of just like let my legs go and went for it. Do you remember the instant that you got the verification and what you felt? Yeah, I do. So I finished, and I actually thought it was the top two individuals um, who had made the national, or the top two individuals from each region um, who weren't on the automatic uh, teams that went. So how it works is the top two teams go, and then four individuals. So they take away all the individuals that finished on those teams and then take the next four. I thought that I it was only two. And so whenever I got done, people were like, congratulations. And I was like, thank you, I did make it. <laughs> but um, yeah, Coach Bowen actually came up to me and uh, he was a little bit emotional. He was like, you did it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> it was just, it was a really cool experience. It was emotional for the both of us. And it, it was, it was cool. You know, we had put in myself and I know Coach Bowen puts in a lot of time and effort into making like these training plans and uh, yeah. It was cool to see all that hard work pay off. When you hear Caleb talk about the progression of this program, what does it mean to you to, to be a part of that turnaround um, here at Lincoln? Uh, it's really special. I know when I came in, I wasn't, or I wasn't even our one or two girl, but. Um, like I, I'm following up with what Coach Bowen said. Like we have gotten just so much better as a team, and to like be a part of that is is something super special. I'm glad that, you know, my achievements like they are like they're for the team. You know, all the girls are out here doing the same mileage, the same uh, work, and I'm glad that I get to be like not necessarily face of it all, but I get to like lead by example and um, show girls that you know even coming out of high school, like you don't have to be anything special to do great things in college. What's it like now getting all the attention? Uh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's good, but it's, it's a little bit strange. I, I checked my phone right after I got done uh, with the race and I had so many messages from all these people that I didn't even know follow cross country. And it was, it was, it's cool. Special. Um, so we had actually run here, I believe it was three, two years ago. 2021 uh we had done a race here and it's it's rolling hill so it's nothing that I'm not used to and um I don't know I'm glad it's I'm glad it's at UVA it's a, a Panorama Farms and yeah it's close enough to where a lot of people can come and support the course is good yeah being uh you know the first from from Marshall being an in-state product is, is there does it mean more oh for sure I uh like I had said earlier, coming out of high school, I wasn't running any crazy times. I was I was average. You know, I was finishing. I had never even placed at the state meet in uh, high school individually. I think my last race, the 4 by 4 my senior year, I got a medal. But I had never even, you know, gotten that recognition in high school. And so it was – it's cool. It's very cool coming from in-state. And I think it just shows a lot of people that they can do some things that they never expected to be able to do. What happened here to take you from ordinary – in high school to being an outstanding runner in college? I would say it's a combination of two things. Uh, the first is having a good support system. So the girls that I train with every single day, they're like, they inspire me to do a lot. I think that we feed off each other in the sense of, you know, you like we have running is like a lifestyle. And so I think being around a ton of people who have that same uh, passion for running, that's the first thing. And second is Coach Bowen and his awesome training that he's given me. So. What's your next step to try to improve your time? And uh, just, yeah, uh, keep following the plan. You know, <laughs> it's all thanks to this guy over here. Uh, yeah, just keep following his plan. Uh, yeah, keep, keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I, I'm sure he has this all figured out, actually. <laughs> it's like, a, I would say for me, I found out at the beginning of each week what I'm going to be doing when I'm gonna be running like workouts for the week, but I'm sure he has a master plan all, all already made up. <laughs> you don't have it yet. Nope. Nope. So you're trusting, I guess, the, the process.
process so for you what is it like i guess mentally and just the preparation is you're kind of waiting for what his advice is i guess because i got to believe it's got to be different emotions thoughts going through because now it's the best of the best yeah um like going into nationals is that is that what you're saying um yeah i think my uh my kind of take on this is like I did I did what I was supposed to. I had a great race and now, you know, this is my final cross country race with Marshall forever. <laughs> and um yeah, I'm just gonna go out there and have fun and do it as do it <laughs> leave it all out on the course, you know. When you talk about coach getting together to plan, does it help that coach is a runner himself? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Kind of how, <laughs> you know, to do that to have success. Yeah, absolutely. Uh He's he's an awesome runner. He does he he knows what he's talking about. So I think even just seeing his accomplishments, it's like oh wow he he knows he knows what he's writing in these training plans. Yeah. What do you like to do outside of running? Oh okay, that was a good question. Um, <laughs> I um I like to I like to read. I am uh, got my undergraduate in elementary education. So I work at a the help center on campus, and so I tutor kids in the community who have learning disabilities. Uh, I also babysit. So I, I don't, I'm very, uh, uh, I like being around kids. I guess you could say I like teaching. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. <laughs>